then I could, sort of never like got over it. Like couldn't really get over like the photos of me that existed and like the haircuts and like the <laughs> sequins and stuff. Like I just had a a real like chip on my shoulder about it. It just it just was just sticky for me. And I uh, wrote a screenplay and then um, through a very strange set of circumstances, like it landed in Ryan Murphy's lap, who himself was in show choir. Like he's from I'm from Chicago. Like he's from Indiana. So like the very Midwestern thing. So he knew about it. He was in Glee Club through college, and then he and his writing partner, Brett Falchuk, um, and I just, like, kind of, they essentially pitched it back to me. This, the screenplay was much darker, just different, much more, um, like a Juno or, like, election, like, just a darker take. It was an independent film. It wasn't a TV show at all. And then, uh, and they kind of, so I kind of went in, and they kind of pitched the show to me. And they're like, well, what about a network television show? And I was like, Sure, like that'd be awesome. So, um, so then we rewrote it, and I didn't, I didn't know them at all. Like I, um, so I'd, I'd always written my entire life, um, but I was an actor, and that was kind of the thing I did. And, and um, writing was kind of an, always like a um, application, I guess. Or I mean, it's too, it's too painful a process to call like a hobby because it's not really like fun like, <laughs> at all. But it was just something that I knew I like, would always do. And there were so many like barriers to entry. I never could picture myself as a writer, like, I was just an actor, and, um, and particularly in the world of theater, where, like, it's just not, uh, it isn't very, it's very, I think it's actually, I, I sort of think sometimes that it's easier to get a TV produced on, like, American television than it is to, like, get a show put up off-Broadway in New York, so, um, and I just, I am not a playwright, like, I, uh, I don't, um, it was when I just stopped trying to write plays that I, um, it just freed me up. Like I took the onus of having to write things that are like important and like, um, and I think when you stop trying to do that, you actually then actually do write things that are important. And um, anyway, so then we like wrote this thing, and I didn't know them at all. Like I, it was kind of a, um, I mean, to call it a leap of faith is retarded. Like who wouldn't ever? Like there was no, it was like a not a not a big deal. It didn't it did involve me moving and like switching careers. I guess like I live in Los Angeles now. I guess. <laughs> um, but like it, uh, um, anyway, we worked really well together, like right away, and I think that, um, and Ryan was doing Nip Tuck at the time of the funeral. Yeah, they were finishing up their last season, and, um, and Brad and Ryan and I, like, sat down and wrote, um, what was the first draft of the pilot, and it came out really quickly, and, like, um, I, um, I kind of felt like I was thrown into, like, the deep end, and then you were kind of like, oh, like, I can swim, and that, like, I should have been doing this forever, like, this is what I, this is what I, am I, am I clicking? Are you hearing that? Just in your head. All the drugs. Um, wait, there, yeah, it's just, took your ticket louder, totally, sorry, all right. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, so yeah, we, we worked really well together, and like um, the three of us are like a very, I mean, very, very quickly we were just kind of like, we're like this is work sort of like, uh, they're like brothers or family, like it's just do we, um, or like, uh, I mean, this will be the most an annoying thing I've said yet, but it's a little bit like, like it kind of like it now because we don't have a writing staff, like it's just three of us who write everything, which is like not. Typical, even though, like, as I'm new to this, like, I don't really understand how you do it differently. Like, this is very fast and, like, works really well, but, like, um, it's sort of now that, like, because early on we were kind of terrified, the whole process of, like, that there were just three of us, and Ryan was adamant about, like, not wanting to fix something that, like, wasn't broke, and, um, and I'm sure Fox didn't mind, like, wait, we have to pay fewer, right? <laughs> like, mm. um, but we were able to do it, and I think, like, um, it, it now is kind of it was very daunting at first. We have like, we like twenty two episodes of something that we didn't we we really planned out the pilot and I think after when the pilot got picked up it was kinda of like the dog catching the car. Like we kind of stared at each other like, okay, like what do we do now? Where does it go? Like what the heck there's so it's just like a vast we didn't know where to take it and then um whereas now there's a little bit more and now we have because we have we had a second and third season pickup which is like a crazy awesome, but, like, I didn't even know that it was, like, as I was saying to you, like, I didn't know it was possible. It's yeah. very, like, um... Well, how was the pilot, you said it was a darker pilot, how was it different from the one that showed up on screen? Um, no, my, uh, my, my screenplay was much darker. The pilot was pretty, pretty much, um, we probably had three drafts. 
Sue Sylvester was actually not in the original. Um, uh, if you can believe it, it would have been such an other thing. I can't believe we like missed it, but like that was like a network note. It was Kevin Riley who was like, um, uh, he was like, you think you need a nemesis inside the <laughs> school? Um, and then it was weird. Ryan, who in his old office would just like kind of sit back and it's like kind of impure, not un not unlike Sue Sylvester at all. But, like <laughs> they kind of turned around and he was like. They kind of lean into his body. He's like, yeah, I think I got it. I think it's a cheerleader named Sue Sylvester. Like, just like full, uh, like, found <laughs> Zeus. And we were like, and then we're like, yeah, of course. And then it was, um, <laughs> totally. And then, like, I actually weirdly, like, now get to write her. Um, we, we divvy up, um, we co-write everything. We're